Hello YouTube, this is Tim Tam Phil, and today I'm not going to do anything about Pokemon. I'm actually going to show you a cool Apple Nano trick to do. You will need an Apple Nano for this. It's the to get into the iPod diagnostic. So if your iPod isn't working, go into this, test it, and see if it needs fixing or if it's something that you're doing or something like that. To get to it, hold down the menu and the action button. For about eight seconds. And then I'll go to the Apple screen. But before it goes to the Apple screen, you have to quickly hold down the action button and the back button. Action in the back. Action in the back. So you hold them down for about eight seconds. But if it's on the Apple screen, it won't work. So when you hold down then, before it goes to the Apple screen, quickly hold down those two other buttons. Then you get to this one, which is the iPod Diagnostics page. And uh, this is a iPod Generation 1, and it will work on the iPod Nano Generations 2, but I'm not sure about Gen 3. Well, it won't work. There's probably another way to get into it. But, because it has no buttons or wheel. This page is pretty cool because you can go into the Excel, Excelometer. So you can't see anything because it's a bit blurry. And then, can't see it, but the letter that's down here is X, Y, and Z, and then there's a square sum there. The X and Y should be about zero, X should be about 15, and Y should be about zero, or should be zero. So this, and this is to see like if the ground's flat or something. It's not meant to um, see if it is, but it's meant to see if the accelerometer's working. And then you go, then Z should be about 850. And then the square sum should be about, 710 or 730 and so then you go menu to continue and you can go there's heaps of stuff there's power and you can see like um you can go the start the high power mode the start time now and current the uh, voltage that you're using and stuff like that and then you go audio and then you can do a headphone test to see if the iPod's detected any headphones and you have to put headphones in to get out of it so you put headphones in then all up the top there it'll say um HP, sending for headphone, headphones, detect, and then it'll have a number there. Can't see it because the headphones are a bit too big. Headphones make it so, yeah, and then go menu, get out. Anyway, go to that, and then you can go touch wheel, key and wheel, then you can do that, make sure that's working, next button's working, previous play, um, button's working, play key, action key, menu key. And you can go to the Excel, it stands for accelerometer, about, so you can find out all the stuff like that, just about this thing. Memory. How much memory it's got. Mine's got 4 gigs. Got it quite a while ago. Um, an SD, uh, SD RAM scan test. Hopefully it comes up with paths. And then you can go into it. Uh, video, TV out. See, stuff like that. LCD, colour pattern. And then it will go through all the different colours. Like all the different colors for the iPod. And then you get menu. Make the back light higher.
and you can do all that stuff. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and turn it off. You can't, oh, to get out of it, you can't just keep on pressing menu on this page. You have to go sleep, then deep sleep, and turn it off. Then, when you turn it on, it'll come up with an apple symbol. It might be like a trick if someone gets your iPod and they turn it on, but then it comes up with the apple symbol. You might think it's one of our batteries. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and you can watch my other videos about Pokemon. And they can help you a lot. Thanks for watching again, and bye.